Hey everyone, Sky Wolf here. Uh, Queen of Daydreams. Yo. <laughs> Messes up the intro. <laughs> uh, so I'm on my keto camo today because my other camo ran out of battery and I gotta do this video today. He'll take a side to play with him. I saw it at my library. So I checked it out and I went through it and it's really cool. There's some stuff on Dragon Watch as well. But you basically you get. But I am recording. You must want the camera on you. This is the buddy show. Baby, what's? Here it is. The back. I'll read it to you. You may have read about the creatures and the saddles, the fairies and fog giants, but have you actually seen them? Now you can. And you won't even have to drink the milk for the first time. Witness the mystery, the majestic, the majesty and the bond of Celebrate and the king of Dra the king of dragons, and discover how to view the blind beauty of the fairy queen. And then it tells you to pay extra attention to dragon watch stuff, and there's a whole page to dragon watch stuff. So this is like the cover and sound. Am I even focusing? Seriously? We got the table of contents. Okay. So we got the introduction, which I will read real fast. If you are in possession of this book, you are assumed to be a caretaker or Princess Carol, take our favor heaven. By now you have been introduced to the world of mythical and magical creatures. However, there is still much to learn. Previous caretakers of favor heaven thought it would be helpful to create a caretaker's guide specifically for those tasked with the job of nurturing, protecting, and surviving this, uh, preserve and its inhabitants. Do not be fooled. Favor heaven is an unpredictable and dangerous place. However, However, the collective knowledge gathered within these pages of this bestowery will give you the tools needed not only to survive, but to survive. Creatures favor heaven are either light or dark, not necessarily good or evil. In order to be good, one must recognize the difference between right and wrong, and survive to choose right. To be truly evil, one must do the contrary. Being good or evil is a choice. This is not. This is often not so with the creatures of heaven. The fundamental nature is largely governed how they act. Some are inherently builders, some are nurturers, some are playful, some are incredibly inherently destroyers, some are deceivers, some crave power. Some love light, some love darkness. But change their natures and without much resistance, their identities follow, like a fairy becoming an imp, or an imp regaining her fairyhood. Much conscious and advice has been passed down over the generations. Want to know them? What most characters agree is the most invaluable tip, those who are careful to cause no mischief, work no magic, and inflict no harm are protected by the fundamental treaty of hate heaven. This truth can be your strongest ally and at times your only defense when fine enough. The signs leading up to the front gate were not always there. In the late 18th century, before the guest register that controls the access to favor heaven was created, Two poachers into the property in search of a big game, they just decided they found it or they found them. Many days later, the resident caretaker found them as well. At least 
found the stone remains of the petrified bodies, and most of those signs outside the gates of Ava had been reposted. As a character, caretaker, you have to accept the most noble assignment. Keep your eyes open, obey. Of exactness, take a risk only as a last resort, and you will have a better chance of seeing another sign eyes. Welcome to Ava. And then our first section is artifacts and items. And I'm just gonna show y'all. So we got the beast plate. That's the one that it's from uh, the Dragon Sanctuary book that says Kendra. Anti Ishi Bim Candle. They use that. Bottled messages. I don't really remember this. The bottled messages. Uh, Destruction Bow. Dragon Deals. I remember that being mentioned. Uh, Holy Wand. I don't remember that ever being mentioned either, though. And then Kita and the Mantel. I remember that. This is what it looked like. No pictures. Ooh, and then this one's all about the keys to the demon prison. It's got a lot of different aesthetic, at least like it's old pages that have been like scrapbooked in, which I like. And that's all the keys, and that's all how they all look. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this thing was like a cylinder. Translator. Then we got the caps up, ladylike, uh, the magic glove, she magic sword, and the cocoon that Seth used to escape the fog demon. Hang on. There's something in my hands. I hold something. Must be some magical creature, because I didn't see anything. Okay, I don't know if I should show the picture. Do you? See, buddy stuck his head up. And then we went to potions, and we got all the different kinds of potions on this page. For y'all. Then we got other things like the quiet box and the wean stick. And then there's also this thing called the Sage Gauntlets, which apparently control the dragons. I wonder what series that could come up in. And then here's some other stuff. It was probably lightly mentioned in the books, but I don't quite remember. I'm the thieves net. And then we got those wax candles, the sword, and something called white mesh. Then there's just a little picture on the side. But that's, that's the sword that Seth used to kill, I can't, I can't say the demon's names. This is the sword from the last book, the Sword of Light and Darkness. Alright, we're on to creatures. I really like this book. I like flipping through books like these. Alright, here we go. I'm assuming this is a picture of the blink side here, and then we got asteroids. And there's also little notes that said the Hinge and the Sadles wrote. Occasionally, uh, Grandpa and Grandma Susan. Stan and Ruth. I'm just gonna show y'all the brownies on this page, aren't they fucking cute? I'm a brownie, come make me brownies. I need to finish the ones I made though. I wash my hair today, don't mind me. Okay, look, and no one needs a spider with a tail. Nobody. Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Oh, and this page is all about the fairy thing. I'm becoming very kind. Cool, cool. And then we have a bunch of fake creatures. Now we're on to giants. Idiots, aren't they? Then we got some goggles and goggles, but then we have... Here we go! And 
Everyone loves Hugo. Look at Hugo. Who doesn't love the Hugo? Hugo is my scarecrow. We got the griffins, a whole page to them. More creatures. Even more creatures. There's a lot of creatures. Some magic plants. Remember the circuit box? I bet you do. They were important. You bet I remember them. Clone Kendra. <gasps> and then we have the thing about the cow. We love the cow. The cow's cute. We have the cow. Don't forget to drink the milk. Then we have stuff on Nyad and Nymphs. Potent for the third book. Remember those deal thing that took out Warden in the Dragon Sanctuary? Yeah, that's them. We have Phoenix and the Relevant from book two. Oh, get to see more Phoenixes. Oh, and there is stuff like pictures you can only see if you go to uh, www.mordemola.com slash caretaker. Seeing Sisters is one of them. But there's also no one doing Oh, and the same one, Shadow Trials. And there's stuff. Oh, there's Unicorn. This one has the thing on Miller's story. I'm not sure I'm down at credit. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Demons, they get their own section. What the fuck else? Demon, first run we ever met in the book, that's what he looks like. Beaumont. And then here we go. We got the king, we got our asshole who betrayed Seth, we got his son. Here's the Supreme Law, and you can forget about Pinky Purple Hair later. We got Foggy Boy. Do not feed. I feel like that should be in big letters. Oh, it is. And then here's the page to Dragon March. Cool, huh? So I need to read the first book. I like it. And there's definitely, there's, there's apparently the king before, like, sure his father was still alive and hiding somewhere. We have an enchantress that's like a witch, and someone called the Tumblr Knight, so like that for. Dragons also have their own page, here we go. He has the king of dragons, and then this is... We got the king of dragons, and then the dragon pattern shawl and put in the living model. The uh, second vault. The little 100 year old dragon. And then we got Nafa, which apparently is the mother of that dragon. I didn't realize that's also the one that helped. Nevada. And we got Alexius. Look at how cute he is. Look at how hideous Nevada is. Nevada. Whatever. <laughs> then we got the locations.
pond. Beautiful as always. That one's on the uh, the towel. Then we got this. This one's all on Fable Heaven and Midsummer's Eve and stuff about the register. And we got two other. Then we got a map of all. Well, almost all of the sanctuaries around the world. But there's a lot in the U.S. There's three in the U.S. Literally in the borders of the U.S. This is the old manor. From like the book, The Shadow Flag. The original house in Fairbairn. And then we got more locations in Fairbairn. And that's the island for Final Battle. Wizards have their own section as well. Here we go. We have a thing on the side of your song, two wizards. And that's totally on. Then all that stuff is the index. And that is this book. Quick little look through this last for you. Really good read. If you're a big favor I have a note, must have. It's a must have, period. Period. I gotta read beat Fable Haven and watch Dragon Watch. I mean, read, read the first book of Dragon Watch. Yeah. Anyhow, sweet dreams to everybody. Bye bye.